As you all guys know, uh, at the end of last month, I had a neurology appointment in Wenatchee that I went to because uh, before that, I had had a three-month-long headache that was non-stop. Uh, non-stop, right? A massive migraine. And I went and I talked to the doctor, and he said that it sounded like I had cluster headaches, uh, which he said weren't what people normally think of as cluster headaches, and said that he could not ex could not explain why I had a migraine for three months straight. said that he's never heard of it lasting longer than a week. Uh, I think he said a week to 11 days was the longest he'd ever heard in his career of being a neurologist. So he gave me some pills and stuff to try and set up an appointment with me, and my neurology appointment is the 21st. Uh, they're going to, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the neurologist set up the appointment uh, a little bit closer to me at a hospital to get an MRI and a CAT scan. Uh, so I tried the pills and everything, they don't work. So I had the migraine for three months, and then it kind of subsided, but it was that feeling of, anyone that's had a migraine knows what I mean, it was that feeling of the aftermath of the migraine, that numb, dull ache constantly being there. So I dealt with that for the entire time afterward, uh, for the weeks before my royal neurology appointment, uh, and continuing and whatnot, and the pills and stuff have not helped whatsoever. Uh, the Nurtec doesn't really help. It's one of those you can take only like every two days, uh, and it will stop it for maybe five minutes, give or take. Uh, but now, in the last three days, the migraine headache thing has come back with a vengeance. Uh, it's hard to focus, it's hard to do anything. I am light sensitive. Even the one light that I have above me is just too bright. I brought in the sunglasses the clip-ons right for these uh, took them off to do this video actually anyway so it is unbelievably painful and I want to give everyone an update on uh, the neurologist tricks haven't worked I'm still waiting on a, an oxygen tank that he set up for me uh, it's supposed to be there when I get back so maybe that will help said so that when I get the cluster headaches I just sit down and get on the oxygen for about 10 minutes uh, 10 to 15, I think he said. But besides that, I have the CAT scan and MRI on the 21st, I believe. But regretfully, I just found out that I'm going to be here in Colorado until the 18th. So I won't be able to leave until the 19th, which means I'm going to have to hightail it back to Washington in order to be able to make that appointment. And if I miss it, I don't know when the next appointment availability is going to be. So... Yeah, just thought I'd give an update. Uh, besides that, I'm doing good. Everything here in Colorado is going fantastic. Uh, but yeah, bit of a bit of a migraine, a headache. Oh, I just noticed that one eye is definitely closed more than the other. Uh, anyway, so that's the update about that, and I will give another update once I know more after my my scans. So thank you all for the well wishes and everything. Just wanted to give the update. May the Creator keep all y'all in the white light of protection today and every day, and may many blessings find your door wherever you are. Once Than say, I feel you, I have had my migraine, hemiplegic, for nine years straight. That's as of now 3277 days. My neurologist doesn't know what is causing them, nothing helps and I've tried everything. Possible headache clinic in Chicago or Philadelphia. Hope they find a solution for you. Once fans pray for Noah, hoping you get some answers and relief Noah, it is a worry for you and the family. Thinking of your medical team as well as they figure how to treat and relieve the pain. All the best, lots of prayers for you. I used to get those and the older I got they finally have stopped at least for the past couple of years. Good luck and I hope they can figure it out for you. Noah Brown's struggle. Navigating the migrant problem. Hope keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Alana. Welcome back to my channel like this video and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video, so let's start the latest update. Noah Brown, known for his role in the reality TV series Alaskan Bush People, 
has recently encountered a significant challenge, the migrant problem. We delve into Noah's experience, exploring the complexities of this issue and its impact on his life. Noah Brown's family has long lived a remote and self-sufficient lifestyle in the wilderness of Alaska. However, in recent years, the influx of migrants into their area has presented unforeseen challenges. These challenges range from cultural differences to environmental concerns, disrupting the traditional way of life that Noah and his family have cherished for generations. The arrival of migrants brings with it a clash of cultures, as Noah and his family navigate interactions with individuals from vastly different backgrounds. This clash can lead to misunderstandings and tensions, complicating the already challenging task of living off the grid in a remote wilderness. The migrant influx also poses environmental challenges for Noah and his family. Increased human activity in the area can have adverse effects on the delicate ecosystem they rely on for sustenance. Hunting grounds may become overexploited, and natural resources may be depleted at an unsustainable rate, threatening the balance of their way of life. Despite the challenges posed by the migrant problem, Noah Brown and his family are no strangers to adversity. Their resilience and adaptability have allowed them to overcome numerous obstacles in the past, and they approach this new challenge with a similar mindset. Through innovation and cooperation, they seek to find solutions that preserve both their way of life and the well-being of their community. Noah Brown recognizes the importance of finding sustainable solutions to the migrant problem. By fostering dialogue and understanding between different communities, he hopes to bridge the gap and build a more harmonious coexistence. Additionally, he advocates for responsible stewardship of the land, emphasizing the need to preserve the wilderness for future generations. As Noah Brown and his family continue to navigate the complexities of the migrant problem, they remain steadfast in their commitment to preserving their way of life. Through resilience, innovation, and a spirit of cooperation, they strive to overcome this challenge and ensure a sustainable future for themselves and their community. Noah Brown's encounter with the migrant problem sheds light on the complex dynamics at play in remote wilderness areas. Through his experience, we gain insight into the challenges faced by individuals like Noah and his family who seek to maintain their traditional way of life in an ever-changing world. As they continue their journey, Noah and his family serve as a reminder of the importance of adaptation, resilience, and community in the face of adversity. Thanks for watching my video.